Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome to a really quick Bitcoin technical analysis for you all where I'm going to be highlighting the important support and resistances for this move up that we have just seen, okay? As you all know, I have been really, really stressing, I've been very bullish on Bitcoin while we hold key supports and what have we been doing holding key supports? As you all know, that original you know move down that we saw to fill the CME futures gap also coincided with the 382 Fibonacci retracement, very, very bullish retracement, okay? Then our second retracement from that swing low to swing high where did we come down to the 382 fibonacci level that is holding key supports okay what else were we looking at okay in terms of wave three finish the a b c d e triangle and you can also get a mini abc in here which was our parallel channel that broke up okay for giving us our rise to the upside alternative view w x y one two we're in wave three okay for the four and five okay so that is the strong movement up that we have been seeing here. If you've been following me, you would have been knowing my bias. Okay, I, it was really funny. I was actually on a champions live stream as this started breaking up, and I was originally scoping from this parallel channel that broke up strongly, strong, strongly, strongly. Then we had our bull flag form halfway through this on the one minute tr on the one minute um, trend, and then we just continued to the upside. So very, very nice, very nice. Okay, now important supports and resistances that I will give you all in this video. Important, important, important support really is 8,487. Why is it so important? One, because it's old resistance that we now want to see flip into support. Secondly, from uptrend to downtrend, okay, we're seeing that also coincide with the 382. So as you can see right now, we are positively moving up again. Okay, so uh, that's the key support for me. 8,487. Secondary, if it's lost, if it's lost, 8,830. Those are two key supports, okay? Four targets on the way back up. Where are we looking, okay? We're really going to be looking at 8,800, which has already been hit and rejected once, okay? So 8,800, that was our, you know, key resistance over on BitMEX that we got rejected from, but we are now fighting at it again, or shortly going to be fighting at it. If we break through this time, we're obviously looking at the 1618, which sits at 9,000 psychological, so 9,000. Then from there, we can run up to the 382 which is sat at 9600 okay that's the overall uh, 382 from overall swing high 20k to our low down at uh, weight bottom of what we're looking at now wave z okay that's sat at 9600 and if we manage to break through that then we got a nice run to that 9010k target okay so that's our bump and run target that's what we've been trading now for the last few months and that is still in play right now so yeah that's that's uh all very, 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 very nice. Okay, I hope that you are all doing very well. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll obviously know today. Oh, this is, I, uh, this this is, is the, the card that I'm looking at. The, uh, so uh, let me all know what you think wheels. of this card. This is obviously the Jag F type. I, I am actually very pleased with it. I think it's a beast. So it's um, either, but yeah, I'm deciding between this and a Master Martin. So um, choose between. yeah, that's my decisions at the moment. So leave a comment down below with what you believe I should go for. Whether you think this nice looking uh, F type or an Aston. Or leave your personal favorite car down below and I can obviously go and test drive. And yeah, so today, that's what I've been reviewing. All very nice, all very nice, all very nice. Thank you, Matic. Thank you, uh, Litecoin, for that. Oh, yeah, while I mentioned Litecoin, obviously Litecoin being the lead bull again, okay? So we saw that break up on Litecoin literally a few days before this break on Bitcoin, and that's what we had been seeing several times in the past, okay? Litecoin was the lead bull that gave us our signs for the break. This happened again, okay? So I'm actually going to spend a lot of time going through the correlation between the breaks in Litecoin to Bitcoin, Um because I find that really interesting data that can be very, very useful. So I will spend my uh, time tomorrow going through that. But today, I'm just going to continue sculpting this channel, uh, looking for our bull flags, trading our bull flags. This is the one that i done on the live stream. Okay, you can see it right here. We were trading this in the live stream, or I was mentioning it, okay, where we obviously had our pump up. We formed our bull flag. There was our continuation, okay? That was the continuation. And now we're forming a larger form bull flag, okay? So let's see if we can continue uh, to the upside, okay? We can clearly see... Key support, as mentioned, 8,400, you know, next target up at 1618,9000. So let's see how it goes. Obviously, looking at that double top of 8,800, okay? Really, really hope that this video was helpful for you. I'm going to go back and trade this now. Um, yeah, leave me a comment of how you, which car, or what you're looking at here on Bitcoin. Do you believe we're going to get rejected, or are you still looking for upside targets? Very interested to know. Hope that you've, this has been helpful, and I'll catch you in the next video, everybody. Cheers. Good night. Bye. <laughs>